Hey guys, welcome to Draw My Story. And here's the shout out to those amazing fans of Draw My Story who've sent in their fan arts. They're beautiful. Thank you guys for sending. If you also want your arts to be featured in my video, then please follow the instructions of how to send in your fan art. It's in the video description below. Love you guys. And today we're drawing the story of another scary monster. And its name is Day 18. I'm quite unsure of why it's named so. And it's also known as the Wandering Doom. To learn more about this creature, continue to watch this video. So the Wandering Doom, or Day 18, is a metaphysical giant creature. It almost looks like a distorted dinosaur. It has four legs, which looks thick and strong. The overall structure of Day 18 looks bony rather than fleshy. It may have some muscles still intact covering the bones. Its skin is somewhat grayish to black in color. Day 18 has a long, slender neck. And at the end is a head-like structure, although the details are not visible. And it must have eyes and ears like any other animal, but it isn't quite visible to us. A few of the available images of Day 18 reveals a spiky structure along the length of its back, and it's said to be some kind of mutated animal, which is up to 15 kilometers in height. Its head reaches the clouds, but is still visible. Now, does this description remind you of another creature of similar characteristics? Day 17? Yes, this one is closely related to Day 17. Day 17 is called the Wandering Faith, and Day 18 is called the Wandering Doom. Do you think it was a coincidence? Well, no. The Wandering Doom is said to be the Wandering Faith's nemesis. While Day 17 is a messenger from heaven, which helps the chosen people to attain salvation, Day 18 could be the evil one, which is assigned to attack the people who have been constantly sinning. Their appearance is quite similar in terms of the size and sighting. But from their head to their body structure, to the characteristics, and to the personality, they have a lot of differences too. Both of them are found on stormy days, which is why they are also called the storm creatures. Maybe like how there is a bad thing for every good in nature, like positive and negative energy, birth and death, etc. These creatures act similarly. One is responsible to save the good ones from bad things happening to them by sending them to heaven. The other one punishes the people who is known for their bad doings. Day 18 is often sighted near the ocean and appears to be walking on the water, which gives us more reasons to believe it could be a supernatural creature sent to watch over the humans and to bring some order. This incident took place a long time ago. A set of friends are often found hanging out by the shore. They create problems for the locals around. They vandalize their shops and threaten to attack them. They even hurt the dogs, which would be sleeping or minding their own business. On one such night, one of the locals tried to stop the men from causing further harm to them. When the men tried to attack the locals, suddenly the storm began to grow. In the distance, they all saw something huge and scary. There it stood, far away from them. But it was clearly visible to all of them. It was humongous. They were stunned and couldn't move, and it came closer. And just like that, it picked up those bad guys where they cried for help. It left the local behind and didn't attack him. The reason why I believe 
that this is the nemesis of Day 17. Although it's said Day 17 randomly takes away anybody it sees, my guess is these are pre-chosen people who were under a constant watch by the creature. And when the right time comes, it takes them to another world. At the same time, the sighting of Day 18 is lesser, and it's mostly during stormy days only. And just like the Day 17, Day 18 could be somewhere watching over people and makes its appearance when it feels there's a need. There are other theories which states that it could just be a bad creature which brings doom to mankind. It feeds on humans and likes to destroy everything in its way. Either way, it's very scary. Imagine a huge creature walking around and takes you away while you're unaware of what's going to happen to you. It's assumed that the people are killed or eaten after they're taken because they were never seen again. I don't know if I can say that they're sent to hell or to some parallel universe by the creature, but I'm sure it's a place we do not want to be at. There is one more theory about Day 18, which says that if Day 17 gives salvation to these pre-chosen people who are good, maybe Day 18 gives it to people who are bad. These bad people worship Day 18 as their savior, and they believe in its darkness. And they think by causing harm to others, they can get the attention of Day 18. These twisted-minded people are the ones whom Day 18 feeds on. Since there weren't many sightings of Day 18, many do not believe such a creature exists. There are only a few photographs available which proves them wrong. But many still believe it's an illusion, or maybe just the tornado, shaped like a creature, which engulfed people during the storm. But let's not treat this creature lightly. It's very evident that it's capable of destruction. One way to avoid it is by being nice, since it attacks the sinners. Not to try to harm other living beings. Other than this, there was no other details given, and not many precautionary methods have been instructed. Practice and believe in good. Maybe that was the reason such a creature was created, to bring some sort of fear in people and to prevent them from committing sins. So it's up to you to decide whether you want to be taken away by day 18 into a faraway land, maybe hell, or maybe just into its stomach after it devours you, or to remain a nice person. But until any further information is found, try to stay away from it. Hope you enjoyed this video. And that was today's story, guys, about day 18 a.k.a. The Wandering Doom. Comment and let me know how'd you like it. And please subscribe to my channel, guys, if you want to see more Draw My Story horror videos like this one. Till then, bye.